It's that time again for another weekly update from the world powered by Hashgraph. Let's go. Recapping the recent announcement from Hedera Hashgraph. Further notoriety for the project. More projects join the ecosystem. Plus an update from the Gossip Guy at the end. So with all this said, let's get started. What is he talking about? And who am I? That's a secret you obviously know. You know you like me. Hashgraph, Hashgraph. Hello everyone, it's the Gossip Guy, your trusted source for news and developments from the world powered by Hashgraph. And if it's not obvious already, things have been quite active from the world powered by Hashgraph. For this week, I want to cover a look back at the recent announcement from Hedera Hashgraph on the accredited investor crowd sale, some other notoriety that Hedera Hashgraph has obtained from the industry, a look at some recent projects that have announced their plans to join the ecosystem, and an update from yours truly at the end of this episode. But before we get started, if you find this video to be helpful and enjoying this content, be sure to leave a like and also subscribe if you haven't done so already, as this helps the Gossip Sky content get discovered on YouTube. Okay, that out of the way. At this point, you're probably aware that Hedera Hashgraph has raised over $100 million to date and has announced its accredited investor crowd sale. We learned about this through an update that was made by the co-founders, Dr. Lehman Baird and Mance Harmon, that was announced on Wednesday, August 1st. Now, I probably could spend this entire episode looking into this announcement. However, I already had the opportunity to produce two pieces of content that featured Tom Trowbridge, the president of Hedera Hashgraph, that allowed us to gain further insights around this. This included an overview of the actual announcement and details surrounding the security of the platform and the role that the token plays. I definitely recommend that you go check out these videos when you get the chance. But I don't wanna leave you with a cliffhanger, so I thought to point out some other key resources available in addition to my content that you can go in order to gain further information regarding the accredited investor crowd sale. Starting off first with the original update made by Dr. Baird and Mance, which provided an update on the status of the platform overall, the Hedera Hashgraph website and associated SAF portal, which the Hedera Hashgraph team has noted are the authoritative sources for all resources related to the crowd sale, an FAQ document that was posted after the announcement was made, which was sourced from questions generated from the community, and a subsequent update video that featured Mance Harmon which looked at and provided answers to some of the most asked about topics related to the announcement, the upcoming milestones for the project, the accreditation process for the SAFT, token supply, distribution, and insights into early stage investors. Nevertheless, the community had a wide range of reactions, ranging from the good, the bad, and the ugly, which is certainly understandable, considering many of us have been following this project for quite some time. Although I'm holding off on providing some of my opinions related to this crowd sale, if you're looking for some really good commentary regarding this, I highly recommend that you go check out the Cryptoverse podcast titled Thoughts on the Hedera Hashgraph Crowd Sale. Honestly, Chris Coney does a better job at articulating this than I could ever do and also provides an objective overview of the Hashgraph consensus algorithm, the Hedera Hashgraph platform, which is clearly supported by some very thorough research. Personally, I also agree with the viewpoints expressed by Cryptoverse. I see the actions taken by Hedera Hashgraph at this early stage to be sound. They may not be popular, but they're needed in order to ensure a long-term stable platform. And moving on, Hedera Hashgraph also gained some notoriety within the DLT industry, starting first with 34. The number of tokens currently being explored by Coinbase as part of their expansion of their custody services, which also includes Hedera Hashgraph. Recently, in a Medium post, 
Coinbase announced their plans to explore the support of 34 additional crypto assets for their Coinbase custody services, which is offered to institutional clients to optimize storage across multiple cryptocurrencies. Now, this announcement is simply to announce their plans to explore supporting the custody of these tokens for storage purposes only and does not represent Coinbase's plans to list the tokens on an exchange or trading purposes. However, this is exciting news as custody services are a critical element for the further enterprise adoption of DLT technologies, especially allowing for tokens to be stored in a highly secured fashion. Obviously, this is great news to hear that Hedera Hashgraph is being considered. Next, 150. That's the first page where we see reference to Hashgraph in acclaimed writer George Gilder's new book, Life After Google. In case you don't know, George Gilder is one of the leading economic and technological thinkers of the past 40 years and the author of 19 books. In his newest book, Life After Google, Gilder tackles the fall of big data and rise of the blockchain economy. In it, he discusses a number of companies and DLT platforms, but also focuses on Hedera Hashgraph's platform, citing Hashgraph as perhaps the most formidable new player within space. This was pretty cool news to see that Hedera Hashgraph is gaining some further awareness within the industry. And definitely go check out this book as it provides some other valuable insights into the DLT space overall. Okay, next up, what does a non-fungible token, a content delivery network, and AI neural net all have in common? Well, these are the underlying use cases behind three new projects that have announced their plans to use Hedera Hashgraph and have joined the ecosystem. This includes Alto, a decentralized platform with a suite of tools for game developers, item creators, and players built around the blockchain's item-first economy. Through the Alto platform, interoperable crypto items will be minted, used, and sold across multiple games and users. Alto enables crypto items and initial item offerings by using the ERC-721 standard smart contract, which are commonly referred to as non-fungible tokens. You're probably familiar with CryptoKitties, which is a NFT. However, unlike cats on the blockchain, Alto has chosen to also support Hedera Hashgraph citing the platform's potential for providing lightning fast transaction speeds with very minimal gas or transaction costs. Two of the biggest problems blockchain developers have faced today while developing on other popular public blockchains. Plus given Hedera Hashgraph's support of the Ethereum virtual machine, the Alto team notes that they can easily port their Solidity based smart contracts with minimal code changes. Next, we have Noya Network, or Network of Internet Acceleration, which is a high-throughput content delivery network and middleware layer based on a widely dispersed network of edge catches and relay nodes. Basically, Noya utilizes the spare bandwidth from household computers, routers, and data centers and implements a distributed ledger-based delivery layer integratable with both web apps or DAP architectures. While currently Noya's main node network is built on Ethereum, Noya Network has announced their plans to launch an additional node network on Hedera Hashgraph's public ledger. The team notes that the process of developing an additional node network will provide the opportunity to explore the full range of benefits offered by the Hedera Hashgraph platform. Also, I had the chance to connect with the team during the Tallinn Estonia meetup that we hosted back in June. So this is definitely a project I recommend you keep a close eye on. And finally, the third project joining the ecosystem is OL Portal, a decentralized messenger dApp on a neural network with the functionality of artificial intelligence dialogues. OL Portal offers users the ability to create messages automatically using neurobots that compose answers to messages within selected chat applications. Users need only to confirm the suggested variance of the bot's answers to the messages. In case you're not familiar, neural networks are a computing system inspired by biological neural networks similar to the brain. These systems learn to perform tasks without being programmed. To ensure users' privacy and security, the next stage of the project is to migrate to a decentralized platform. Taking into account the complexity and innovativeness of the neural network's development, OL Portal has decided to place the future of the OL Portal ecosystem on the Hedera Hashgraph platform. Once again, the team cites Hashgraph's secure, fair, and lightning fast properties as the main deciding factors to launch their application on top of Hedera Hashgraph's public ledger. And on that note, as part of next week's episode, we'll plan to take a closer look at OL Portal 
and also get a demo of their product. So make sure not to miss this. Obviously, this is great news to hear of more dApps planning to use Hedera Hashgraph. The ecosystem continues to steadily grow and the use cases become more and more interesting, especially as the teams plan to take advantage of the Hashgraph consensus algorithm standout properties. I hope you find these updates to be helpful. And if there's any project that you're interested in, let me know by leaving a comment down below. Okay, so now that we've covered the updates from the World Power by Hashgraph, this brings me to the final segment in an update of my own. I'm humbled to announce that as a few days ago, I've reached the 1,000 subscriber milestone. Obviously, this is a small step in a creator's journey on the YouTube platform. However, I greatly appreciate the community's support along the way. Without it, I would just be a guy here in New York City gossiping about emerging technology. So I want to extend my greatest of gratitude. Thank you. Lastly, as a final note, next week I'll be switching over to a live stream for the weekly Gossip and Hashgraph series, which I'll be posting further details on in the coming days. The live stream has been a great opportunity to connect directly with you and the community and also requires less effort to produce. In case you're unable to attend, you can always watch the video and playback. Also, don't forget to join us on the Gossip Group Discord server, as we'll be using this throughout the course of the live stream. With all this being said, if you want to stay posted on all the news and developments coming from the world powered by Hashgraph, be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And on this final note, this is the Gossip Guy, signing out. Thanks for watching.